Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing a watch launched as a 30-piece limited edition in platinum for the 2006 model year, celebrating 30 years of watchmaking by Michel Parmigiani, this is the Parmigiani Fleurier Calpa XL Tourbillon Chiaroscuro. You might ask, what is Chiaroscuro about this watch? Well, the answer is on the reverse, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a timepiece from the Calpa model line, and it's unmistakable in that regard. It is 37.2 millimeters from side to side. It is 11.8 millimeters thick and from lug tip to lug tip. 52.3 millimeters across the wrist. It has a spacing of 23 millimeters between the lugs. So we'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference. And you can see this is a large watch. The Calpa case does have agreeable ergonomics. You can see the downward taper of those short cropped lugs mitigates against fit issues. I would say you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. And take note, though it's broad, it's also thin. So it's gonna slide underneath the cuff. Taking a look at the strap, it's high grade. Large rectangular scale alligator leather, semi-gloss finish, monotone stitch. We've got a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather. Hermes is an investor in the Parmigiani family of companies, which is why we have this lush and lovely Hermes strap. It's a buttery calfskin on the bottom, and you can see this is a factory spec strap from Parmigiani. They have Hermes straps. They look good. They feel good. They are as good as they look and feel. We have a double folding clasp, and you can see that right here. You can see that the clasp swing arms are made of white gold. This is common on double deployment clasps on platinum watches because white gold mechanically mechanically is the strongest of the standard golds. It's also stronger than platinum. That's why it's often used for smaller mechanical parts on clasps. You can see that we have a little buckle with a teardrop profile, and that echoes the profile of the lugs themselves. You can appreciate how this watch is built. The lugs are welded on, and this is an impressive job of case manufacturing. Parmigiani is a little bit like a Portuguese man of war. The Portuguese man of war is an organism that's actually a colony of smaller symbiotic organisms. And Parmigiani, between movements, dials, cases, small parts, dial components, all of that is done within the Parmigiani family, but by different companies. And so Parmigiani has its own case maker that is specialized in fine operations like welding separate lugs onto a case and then removing all evidence of the weld to create these super sharp breaks between case and lug profile. Everything here is of high polish. Again, it's all platinum. And you can see that the watch is effectively seamless as there's no separate bezel. So the seam between the bezel and the mid case simply doesn't exist. It's all of one piece when viewed from the front and the side, and then the case back is where everything loads up. You can see this is number 11 of 30. That is a limited edition. On the dial, we have an unusual feature, two, actually. First, you can see that there's a running center seconds, which is not common on tourbillon watches. Uh, second, you can appreciate that this is a 30-second tourbillon, so it's moving at twice the speed of a standard tourbillon regulator. It makes two circuits per minute. It's beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. And you can see that it is both free sprung for durability and precise adjustment and equipped with an overcoil hairspring. So in any position, this tourbillon is going to keep good time. That's the benefit of an overcoil. Its mass is centered. You can see through the front of this skeletonized movement that we have two mainspring barrels and it is the hebdomadaire. It is the seven day movement. To be perfectly honest, it's an eight day movement. But the idea is that a hebdomad is seven or a period of seven days in Latin. And so the idea is you get that extra day of power reserve, you wind the watch once a week. So hebdomadaire. Now the timepiece has a number of extravagant finishing elements, but we may as well talk about the spec of this Parmigiani PF501 movement first. It is manual wind. It is an eight day power reserve. It is twin barrel. It has the 21.6 beat rate. It has the free sprung overcoiled tourbillon. When we flip it over, 
You can more easily see the two barrels through the barrel bridges, and this is where the chiaroscuro element comes in. That means light and dark, or pronounced use of light and dark in visual arts. Think Hellboy, not the movie, the comics, and you've got the general idea. So we have a bunch of different colors and shades and shapes, and you can see we have everything from polished metal to violet to brown to rose gold, and all of this was done with a view to making it a chiaroscuro movement. You'll appreciate that there is a Vauche stamp on the movement. Remember I said the Parmigiani family of companies provide the various parts here. And so you'll appreciate that Vauche provides the basic caliber, which is then elaborated to become what you see. And if you look carefully, you can even see the Vauche movement number down here. Technically, it's going to use the Parmigiani movement number, which is 501. You can see it is a 30 joule movement. It is adjusted in a high horology standard five positions. So that's what you'll see on most high horology watches and chronometers. The advantage of having two barrels isn't so much the big power reserve. There are single barrel watches that have up to 10 days of power reserve. The twin barrels allow the watch to run consistently, so it doesn't gallop super fast when it's highly wound, and it doesn't run super slow and lose time as it approaches its end. You can see that the underside of the tourbillon bridge is entirely black polished, and you can see the same on the dial side, all of this water resistant down to 30 meters. You'll appreciate that there is a sapphire under the sapphire, so you have the primary sapphire, which covers the dial, then you have another one, and you can see that there's a cutout around the tourbillon bridge. Note that it's completely rounded towards the center in addition to being black polished, and that there are sharp inward angles at the edges as well as the center where the various components connect. We have a set of polished dart style indices that are set on top of that secondary sapphire. You can also see the scale for the power reserve indicator and the nameplate set on top. Now all the elements that have colors to them, brown, rose gold, and violet, they have been PVD coded, an unusual technique at the time this watch was made for movement components. You'll also appreciate that a lot of the exterior faces of these bridges feature sharp inward angles where two bevels meet, and you'll appreciate that the separation between the different elements of the bridge, which are designed to look seamless when, for example, they're made of rose gold or rhodium plated brass, the break between the bridges is highlighted by the different colors. You could see satination on one barrel, and then adjacent to it, you could see the other barrel has been polished. So there's lots to love here. All screw heads are black polished, and their slots as well as circumference beautifully chamfered. The anglage is world class. The satination across the bridge is, is exemplary, and the same has been lavished on the individual train wheels. There is a lot to love about this watch. Reach out to me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Half the fun of this watch is that it keeps no secrets. You can see those blue delta style hands at center driven by a visible motion works and then adjacent to that a fully finished and visible keyless works mechanism. Truly the stuff of dreams. tmasso at thewatchbox.com.